Hi Pisces, I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for you. We'll find out what you need to know. This will be for August going into September. Pisces. Okay, one more shuffle, Pisces. happening Pisces Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles. This is feeling left out in the cold. Like there could be blocked communication with someone. Or these people are out in the cold. There, there's something lacking in your life when the Five of Pentacles shows up. But... I'm seeing you walking away from it with the Eight of Cups. It's like these Eight Cups are very difficult to walk away from. And then I have a soulmate connection on the other side. So you could be leaving something out in the cold here. Walking away from something very difficult. But we'll go back and clarify happening with Pisces. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is you, Pisces. It's like I'm seeing you going after things in your life at this time trying to move and move away from this energy where you could be feeling stuck it's like you you have your head facing away from a connection here that is a soulmate connection it's difficult to release and i see you moving into calmer water happening with Pisces? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? We're going to clarify the Five of Pentacles. This is could be blocked communication with someone. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? going to make sure you can see the cards. Okay, so to clarify the Five of Pentacles over here, I'm seeing the reason, I, I'm feeling like there's blocked communication with someone because of the reason there's blocked communication they're telling me is there could have been secrets. Someone could have been keeping secrets within this connection, this soulmate connection. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. There could have been some type of instability with the Two of Pentacles. There's some type of imbalance here that um, 
caused this blocked communication and it's because someone walked away and then I have the nine of swords I feel like you could be really up in your head about this blocked communication like you could be having a hard time sleeping thinking about it a lot these are thoughts that are hard to get out of your head but I'm seeing you walking away from it And then we're going to clarify the Eight of Cups. This is a connection that's hard to walk away from. This could have happened suddenly. With the tower card showing up. It's like it could have happened very abruptly. This ending and someone walking away unexpectedly. And then I have the seven of wands. So your person could have felt very defensive. around other people here that was in the connection with the two of you and then I have justice and the knight of wands so there's some type of justice coming in some type of truth I'm seeing this knight of wands come rushing in with some type of truth This is someone rushing in with a lot of passion, too. But I feel like... I feel like there's... Um, something shocking going to happen here. I have the Knight of Wands rushing in to deliver some type of justice, I feel like. And this is a soulmate. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Three of Pentacles. Okay, so to clarify the the Six of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. An X. The Death card fell upside down. Scorpio energy. It's like. there's There was no closure. There's not a complete ending here. And so this could be what's making you feel like this. Like I'm not seeing closure here. A complete ending it's like something is still hanging on and the energy is going to start moving fast here with the eight of wands and I have the page of wands so I'm seeing messages coming in about this where there's no ending here there's no closure in this connection with someone. The death card fell out with. With these messages. And so I feel like you're going to be getting messages from this person. Because there was no closure here. There's something here that needs to be sealed and closed. And then I have the three of pentacles. There's something here that still needs to be done. There's so, there's work that needs to be done. 
and it's from both sides. There's something here that you may need to do together to close this cycle out. Why is the Queen of Wands here? I'm seeing you going after something in your life that is a wish fulfillment for you. See, I have the star card, Aquarius energy, and the nine of cups. There's, some, there's something here that you're going after with the queen of wands energy that's coming in for you. There's a new start that is a wish fulfillment. Because you've been through the tower and now you see the light at the end of the tunnel. But the star card is also a reminder of, see she has two cups. And she's taking water out of one big body of water and dumping it onto the ground. It's a job that could take so long that it's not worth it you know that it's not worth the time that you're going to put into emptying the water from this body of water onto the ground and so the advice of the star card is to turn around and follow the star which i see you doing you're following a wish fulfillment that is coming in for you Yeah, four of wands, some type of stability, there could be a new home, but there's some type of stability coming in for you and a wish. And so I'm seeing you moving into calmer water here with the six of swords. So let's clarify the six of swords. Why is the six of swords here? The world because you're you're going to be closing out a cycle here entering into a new beautiful cycle see I'm seeing with the world card this the beginning of this reading is like a chapter in your life and the world is you entering into a new chapter of your life closing out the old chapter entering into a new chapter and moving into calmer water it's like someone could be helping you do this um but then There's something here that you're holding on to. I'm seeing something very successful, something that you're very passionate about, some type of exciting news coming in with the Ace of Wands. Something that you're holding on to that you're not letting go of. So I'm seeing you entering into this new beautiful cycle with the World card going after some type of wish like a uh, wish fulfillment and I'm seeing it coming in for you and it has something to do with your money your stability and it's also something that you're very passionate about with the ace of wands I feel like there could be new love showing up for you, but I'm seeing you like, like focused on the past. This is someone focused on these three cups of love and emotion that have been spilled out, not seeing that there's two full cups behind them because they're so focused on the past and what was lost. 
they're not turning around and seeing that there's two full cups of love right here. And then I have the Ace of Cups. So there could be new love showing up for you, but you're not seeing it because you're too focused on the past. But let's find out. Why is the Five of Cups here? The King of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. And the Eight of Swords. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This soulmate, where there wasn't closure, there was no true ending. This soulmate right here is showing up as the King of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I have all the signs here, but their energy is showing up as a kind, loving, giving person, someone who could be a business owner, someone good with money. This person's feeling, feeling the loss. I don't feel like this is you anymore. This is someone else feeling the loss, feeling the sadness. Not seeing that there's two full cups of love behind them. They're like in a self-imposed imprisonment with the Eight of Swords. Trying to make a decision. Feeling blindfolded again. Both of these cards are blindfolded. This person is doing this to themselves. It's like they're stuck in their mind. And they're doing this to themselves. They're trapping themselves. And so eight plus two swords is the ten of swords. I feel like this person is stopping their blessings. Whoever this person is. They're, this is something in the mind. It's something that they're doing to themselves. About you. Male or female, Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. This is someone that loves you, but this is someone that, that you love also. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Sun. See, there's new love, Leo energy. There's new love showing up, and it could be from the soulmate connection. Grab a couple more cards. What's happening with Pisces? Yeah, that's rough. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini also. Yeah, see, there's a decision here that needs to be made. But someone's fighting an inner battle. It's like you make someone very happy here. And I do see them making a decision, but they're really slow. See, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. It's like, I really feel like you will be getting some messages from this person, but they're going to be kind of short, um, some truth. Maybe some, some cold words, maybe out of anger. Then I have the Knight of Pentacles showing up too. So this is someone who's been gone for a long time, I feel like. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? See, they're gonna they're gonna come in with 
Could be a Sagittarius too. They're going to come in with this King of Swords energy here as the Knight of Swords with messages very quickly here um, about ending this connection with you, something along those lines. This is the fastest night in the tarot deck. So I feel like they're going to rush in, say some, just some very short, unemotional messages. And then I see them coming in later with an apology. And this apology is temperance, a reconciliation, and them wanting to work on this connection with you. I feel like they're working a lot right now. But I feel like by the time they come back, it may be too late. Because I have strength here. This is inner strength. This is you having inner strength. And kind of giving yourself your own closure with the death card reversed. And I feel like they'll come back and it's like, a judgment call will be made to raise this from the dead because I see them coming with an apology. But by then you've turned your back. It's like you'll be happy being single in the Nine of Pentacles energy. It's like the Nine of Pentacles is completely fine, happy, being single, taking care of themselves. Because, see, you'll be looking at all the, everything you put into this connection with this person. You'll be looking at it and seeing that it wasn't worth it. You put a lot into this connection. You were very loving, giving, kind to this person. And it wasn't worth it. And so, it's like with the star card here. Where I told you, you're trying to empty out a bob. A body of water with two little jugs trying to empty this out takes so long that it's not worth it and so I'm seeing you turning around following the star following a dream and your dreams coming in for you but when this person comes back it's like you've turned your back you're looking out into the future waiting for another ship to come in. Okay, so let's... Um, get a couple cards from the Angel Oracle deck. What does Pisces need to know? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I feel like new love is trying to come in for you, Pisces, but it's like your focus is somewhere else now. It's really on yourself, which is really awesome. And trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. <laughs> Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic love life. And down the bottom of the deck, they're saying, let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. And ask a question, because I'm going to um, see what the angels cards have to say. Just Pisces need to know the spirits. What does Pisces need to know? Trust. They're saying this situation calls for you to have faith. 
the star card is also healing and so I'm seeing you healing recovery and remain positive And on the bottom of the deck, to answer your question, it may be helpful people or no need to worry. Okay, Pisces, so these are the messages that spirits have for you. I hope they help and I hope they bring you clarification. And um, thank you so much for liking and subscribing and being here with me. And I send you... All of my love, Pisces. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.